Well, Germany indeed has a number of problems in political terms and in economic terms, absolutely. But as to these election results in the East German states, these three smaller states where we had elections this September, they are sort of indicative of a national trend. Yes, there is a strengthening of the fringes, but on the national level, the major fringe parties from the right and the left, the AFD and the BSW, score around 25% and not the 40 plus percent that they have in East Germany. Economically, yes, Germany is in stagnation with a slight risk of a recession coming. A big part of that has been the trouble in China. If China now does a little bit more about its domestic demand, that of course would help Germany a little bit. Holger, um, I would like to debate this for hours with you, but how does Germany, how does the centre, whether it's the CDU or the SPD and, and their affiliate parties as well, how do they hold off the left and the right at the same time as not spending more money because of Schuldenbremse, and at the same time where these right and leftist parties have a real disdain for potential more integration, which is, of course, the remedy for economic growth, according to uh, Mario Draghi. I don't get how this one works. Well, it's tough, absolutely, but it can work to some extent. First of all, the concern about migration is almost exclusively about the uncontrolled migration, the fake asylum seekers coming across the border without having been invited, the concerns about the migration which Germany needs, that is the invited immigration, that is the qualified immigrants. These concerns are very small. They are not behind the rise of the political fringes. So a more rational immigration policy, making it easier for the qualified immigrants to come when they have been invited and making it much more difficult for the fake asylum seekers to come, that would already help a lot. And as to the debt break, yes, there is an almost consensus that the debt break does need to be loosened. Unfortunately, politicking between the various camps of the uh, mainstream parties prevents that from happening before the election because loosening it now would mean that the mainstream opposition would have to vote with the government on it before the election next year and that's a tough proposal for the mainstream opposition right now. Holger, I want to ask you about any relief coming from China because we know there have been very strong external forces here that the German economy has been suffering alongside what has been a very weak Chinese economy. Further moves today from the PBOC around the repo rate. Does any of this make a difference if we see China improving? Will it necessarily help Germany's fortunes this time around or is it different because we're now seeing China as a significant competitor to Germany? A bit more of domestic demand in China would help a bit. More domestic demand in China would probably mean that the Chinese urge to flood global markets, including the European markets, with the subsidized products out of their excess capacities, that this urge would be a bit less. But indeed, what happens in China is not the major thing for Germany in the sense that we do not expect a stimulus to domestic demand strong enough to really make a huge difference to Germany. The most we can hope for is that the drop in German exports, minus 6.2% year over year in the first half of the year, the most we can hope for is that the drop in German exports to China stops, say, sometime early next year, and that would be a little help. It would not be the decisive breakthrough for Germany yet. We will also need further rate cuts from the ECB and ideally some domestic policy initiatives, structural reforms to really unshackle the German economy again.